My name is Carlo Pinciroli. I work in robotics at the Ridia Laboratory um, of the Applied Science Faculty of the ULB. My research team uh, is uh, Swarm Robotics. Swarm Robotics is a branch of robotics uh, that takes inspiration from large societies of animals such as ants. The ants individually are not able to achieve complex tasks, but together they can build uh, their nest and they can find prey despite predators and despite storms. In robotics this is really interesting and that's exactly what uh, I am studying uh, because it could enable um, applications for the future um, such as uh, search and rescue in very dangerous environment, um, uh, nanotechnology, um, space exploration um, and I don't know humanitarian demining and, and, uh, and applications like this which are very important. My daily work in particular is in trying to find methodologies to program the individual robots so that they can achieve a, a, a global um, goal, like for instance building their own nest or finding um, a victim, in a way that can be predictable and that can satisfy important constraints uh, like cost and energy consumption. I chose ULB for this research because the Iridia laboratory where I work um, is the best laboratory in Europe for, for this kind of research. In particular, the professor that is leading this laboratory, Marco Dorigo, is recognized everywhere in the world. So when he called me to do this, I really didn't have to, to think a lot, a lot. I just accepted. Today, I brought you this object, which is a memento from the beginning of my career. When I started my career, I was working in artificial vision, and in particular on the problem of analyzing images in which uh, taken uh, with a camera pointed against a convex mirror. In this case, a conical mirror. So at some point I needed a real system to try my things, and I designed the mirror and asked a company to build it. And the company came back with this, which is a completely useless object, uh, because it is the complementary object. And I keep this on my desk every day because this reminds me of how difficult it is sometimes to be understood, how uh, research sometimes has outcomes that you wouldn't expect, and how funny life is because you think about uh, achieving something and then you get exactly the opposite.